Hello students. It is already midnight on the night before your calculus exam, and I figured that I promised you that I will make this video to show you how to calculate the shortest path using Dextra algorithm. So this is my first time recording this kind of video, so it'll be a little bit awkward for me to talk to myself and explaining things on this. Um, screen. So let's start. We will use Dextra algorithm to determine the shortest path starting from A and ending at Z. Each step will follow the pseudocode as outlined in the lecture. So I will start that by first changing the color here to red. Okay. And the first step of Dexta algorithms is to set all the cost of different of each vertex that are not the origin to infinity. So now the cost of B, C, D, E, and Z are initially set to infinity, and the cost of A is initially set to zero. Then iteratively, which means you use the loops for this, iteratively we will select one vertex that has the lowest cost and include that vertex into a set of paths. And then after the vertex is included, we will update all the other vertices, the cost of all the other vertices. So that it reflect the choice, the choice that you make. So for the six vertices, you can see that A has the lowest width, has the lowest cost. Sorry. So we will initially select A to the set. When A is selected to the set, we have to update neighbors of A, which are B and C, because they have, uh, they have edges that connect A to that vertices, we, it will make the cost of that vertex lower. How much lower is that depending on, or how much higher depending on the existing cost which we have here equals zero. The new cost will be zero plus four for B and plus two for C. And you can see that if you add 0 to 4, which is equal to 4, this 4 is less than infinity, the current cost of B. So we will now set the cost of B to 4, the new value. And the cost of C to 0 plus 2 equals 2. Then from five vertices B, C, D, E, and Z. C is the lowest, so we will now select C into the list. When C is selected to the list, we have to update auto vertices so that the cost of auto vertices correspond to the choice that we make. So when we select C to the list, the path from A to B passing through C has the lower width which is, which is 2 plus 1 equal 3 comparing to the current weight, current cost which is 4 2 plus 1 equals 3 is less than 4 so we will update this cost of B to 3 which corresponding to moving in this direction and then moving up here the next one D we have 2, which is here, 2, plus 8, equal 10. So the cost of D, and 10 is less than infinity, the current cost. So the cost of D here will be updated to 10. And the last one, E, the cost of E will be updated to 2 plus 10, equals 12. Then for four vertices, B 
is the lowest so we will now select B into the list this means something like we traversing from A now to C and C now to B but please be careful because this is not traversing actual traversing we just trying to determine the shortest path it is possible like in your in-class exercise that in some cases this path might stuck at some dead end and we, we may need to use to explore all the paths depending on the current cost in the network but for now you can see that it is quite simple in this case because it flow from the left to the right without any dead ends um, for the now we selected B we selected B into the list we have to update the cost of D, E and Z the cost of D will now be updated to 3 plus 5 equal 8 which is less than 10 and the cost of oh just that because D is the only neighbor to B now for 8 and 12 and infinity we can see that 8 is less than the rest so you now selected D into the list when D is selected to the list we have to update E and Z because they are both neighbors to D the cost of E will now be updated to 8 plus 2 which is 10 and it is less than E the, the existing cost of E which is 12 so this is now updated to 10 and the cost of Z from infinity will be reduced to 8 plus 6 which is 14 from E and Z you cannot jump to Z yet because you can see that the cost of traversing from D to Z is 14 and you have a better alternative for now which is 10 so you select E into the list and after selecting E to the list we have to still updating the cost of Z the last one from 14 to 10 plus T 10 plus 3 equals 13 and the last one will be included which is the final des the destination and from this we have the path like this and the cost is 13